After a short walk to the procedure room, we will once again verify your name and the procedure being performed. At that point, you'll be positioned comfortably in leg supports. IV anesthesia will be induced and you'll gently fall to sleep. The area will then be cleansed with sterile saline and the transducer, much like the one that we use to do your ultrasounds, will be prepared for the procedure. The transducer is covered with a sterile plastic sheath. A long, thin needle is then attached to a warm test tube with buffered media inside. The test tube will be held by an assistant as the needle is inserted into the needle guide. Typically, only one puncture is required for each ovary. There are no incisions. The needle is then gently guided to each follicle in the ovary. The follicle is aspirated as the physician takes care to keep the needle in the center of the follicle. As the follicle collapses, the surgeon may gently curette the wall of the follicle to ensure that the egg has been collected. As the follicular fluid is drained, it accumulates in test tubes. Once a test tube is nearly full, the assistant notifies the doctor that she needs to change tubes, and the doctor will wait before moving follicles. The tube is capped and handed through to the embryologist as a new tube is positioned and being filled from additional follicles. At the end of the procedure, most patients are surprised the procedure has already been completed. Most of the pain is consistent with a severe menstrual cramp. The worst part of the bloating is yet to come, and that should be expected over the next two to four days with some bloating as well as constipation. All of this is normal. By five to 10 days after the procedure, you should feel back to yourself 100%.